Hey, welcome everybody to Chaos Africa meeting uh, bi-weekly. It's, it's almost like we've not had a meeting in two months because <laughs> some then our meeting kind of like fell <laughs> just when um, I was taking a break. So, so we have our meeting and then Chaos took a break, which was for like a couple of weeks. So, yeah, it's uh, good to see everybody here. Um, this is the note, and it's good to be back. So, this is the notes, the link to the notes. Um, the question today is: Have you, in the spirit of taking time off, because I took time off, that's why I had that question there. So, have you taken time off this year? Uh, yes, for me, I have. I need more, but it's been good. Um, I see a lot of faces here. Hi, Enoch, how are you doing? Thank you for gracing us with your presence. <laughs> oh, <man>. um, <laughs> thank you so much. And thanks for taking time off. I'm going to give you more time. <laughs> thank you um, I also took yeah. time off and traveled like uh, to seven states during the summer what did you say? So, I, like, I took time off and traveled to seven states during the summer and how? Fun. Seven. Yeah. How, it, how? how did you I go I was on a road trip <laughs> oh that's a lot like did you like yeah. spend how many days do you spend in each? Or you just passed through them and you said... You so, it was one day each and then we stopped in Wyoming and camped there for one week. Oh, that's actually fun. You actually had it. And then came back. Mm. So I think well. Americans, take, Americans and Europeans take summer very, very seriously, so... Yeah, I think they don't look at every coin as a coin for survival. <laughs> Yeah, if you're in Uganda, what would you have been doing? If I was in Uganda, I would be looking for feelings for survival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, road trips are the best for real. Um, road trips are the best when you have safe roads. You can't say that in Nigeria. When you have safe roads and you have a comfortable car. <laughs> you can't do a road trip in Nigeria, please. <laughs> I can't imagine doing a road trip in Nigeria. What would we be looking at? You'll be looking at trees, forests, and no, no, no. I think if, one, if the roads were not bad, it it would have been good. But please, not the spirit of road country. trips is not um, is not Nigerian. <laughs> Not not at all. But yeah, um, I see I a lot see. of people have not taken them off. So please do. It makes you it makes you shine like me. So please <sighs> try it. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't think we have we can get started with the meeting. I don't think we have uh, I think there's a very uh, we have a full agenda, so we can get started already. Um, we don't have any newcomers here, so let's still, you know, welcome everybody back. Um, so I wanted to do a check-in on like all the different um groups to see what's happening. Personally, I think I have been out of touch with a lot of things. Um, because the past few months has been very very chaotic for me with events, um, with a lot of activities. So I wanted us to kind of check in. I think I think I, I think I don't know if you are able to talk about what's going on with the developers focus group, what are the new things and current things that you're working on and um what blockers you have and where you need help. So we'd probably take it that's that's 
oh you can't talk right now so okay maybe you can add it to the chats um i'm not sure enoch do you have any have you been um have you been active within the group not at all i was actually expecting um, some missions from everyone here mm. i joined in to catch up with um how much i've missed mm, okay that's that's yeah it. that's fair uh emmanuel hi this is the first time i'm seeing you on a meeting so i wanted to say hi um hi, uh, i think the first time i'm joining the um African design. I'm always joining the general one and um Agos and um yeah um, okay. yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. so, nice to meet you and welcome here. Um, maybe you want to give a brief intro. We usually welcome new people that have not been in the meeting before. So where you're joining us hmm. from? I've joined. I've joined when I, I've, I've joined once. Right. I've, okay. This particular meeting. Okay. Yeah, I've joined African like oh, I think. Okay. Three times oh, okay. Yet. I thought this was the um first um time you were joining me too. Okay. I think I can do the yes, you can say hi then. Um because this is the first one you're joining. Okay. Hello guys, my name is Emmanuel and um I'm a designer. I I'm kind of also contributing to Ogo and Ignots um designs. And I'm really happy to be here, hopefully. And I think one thing I need to also notice that I think this meeting has been removed from our calendars. I used to get notifications before. Oh, yeah. like Actually, so I, I always prefer when Elizabeth explains this thing because she knows how to explain it. So we used to, yes, we used to have it on the calendar, but there's now a function where you have to we 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 did everything. I'm going to send you that broadcast message. I okay. but you just have to go and add it again personally. I usually don't you know. Can't remember what happened. Why we had to like redo that. Um. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um. I see Kinsley is not here. You might be filling in for him soon. Um. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Um. Akindele, do you want to say hi? Are you available to talk? Yeah, um good hello everyone from different parts of Africa. Um I'm Akindili Michael. You can call me Michael. Um this is my first time here. I joined the tech writers uh, meeting yesterday with Harmony. And uh yeah, that was my first meeting like in the chaos community. So uh I'm not currently contributing to any open source project actively. I'm just uh looking around uh Probably I'm just looking at AppFlow, a, a Flutter uh, open source projects, but I'm not actively contributing. Uh, yeah, I, I, I well, while I'm, um, well, what will I say now? <laughs> well, I build mobile apps. I, I'm interested in Python. I, yeah, I'm also in the GitHub community manager program. So basically that's all about me, nothing much, too much. That's fine. Nice to meet you. I already know Michael. So uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So I think I think I dropped something in the chat. Just want to look at it. Um okay, so you said you haven't been very active. You feel like there's a sense of tiredness or business in the group because response is slow, um, is low, especially with getting work done. Um thinking of how we can revive the group. Yeah, um, that's that's understandable. Um I think maybe I can meet with you later since I'm back now. Let's see what are the current projects that are that we have. Um I know that there was a time um Catherine does some last week or two weeks ago, she dropped like um starting back that um African open source project. Um I, I don't think she's here to speak to that. So I I think maybe it's also knowing like where we are at with the different projects that's going on um and then what do we want where do we want to be and then we can design something around there to get people active again right so because i know um with communities it's when when there's some slow activity 
um if you really need to like really check in um on like what what's the projects that are that we have like where are they at what do we need to do and then if there are things to do and like also checking on people to motivate them like we can we can talk about all those after this meeting or maybe next week to see what things are there to start working on and what blockers people are having oh, i know okay. with people picking up issues and not eventually scaling through them so let's how let's see how we can motivate people to keep contributing and good good thing is october first is also coming up i don't october is still a bit far but since october first is um, coming up we can um we can kind of design something around that period um and then get the group more active again so yeah um i'd love to meet you later yes we can talk about it next week um then for designers um i know um emmanuel i don't know do you have any you know you do a lot of work around auger and it's not um i don't know how too much if you have enough contact i think katrin is here katrin i mentioned you at some point i don't know if you heard me do you want to say anything about the Air Force project um yeah hi ruth and hi everyone nice to see you after a long time yeah. um <laughs> Yeah, I hope you, you're you well rested from your break. Um, I need oh, well. to do the same. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, yeah, so we are restarting the AFOS project. Um, currently, I'm just doing updates to the project dependencies and just restructuring the, um, uh, the repository <clears throat> and adding new tools that we're going to use for the project. So once I'm done with that, um, then I'll start now creating the issues for the project. And yeah, I'm going to let everyone know in the, in the Slack channel once I'm done. But that will probably be, at least by end of August, we should be having a couple of issues up and running. Great. Um, yeah. Thank you for that update. There's, there's something that I have down the agenda that kind of connects back to the Air Force project in a way. Okay. I'm going to, uh -huh. to back to it later. Um, All right. But probably that meeting that, um, that meeting that I would do with a day in car, maybe you should mm -hmm. be there so we can all kind of like walk through it. Okay. Okay, great. All right. Thanks. You let us know in the Slack channel. Okay. I'll probably do it Slack DM between you both. So okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um all right, no problem. Okay. Thank you. Um so uh for designers, yes, skins is still not here, so um Manuel, do you want to give us any updates you have? Yeah, I think um I'm also short of kind of update, but let me just quickly just um check a few things that I think we were working on. I think the last time, um, because of the um what would I call it now? I think the break that the whole community took. So a lot of meetings were kind of breaking between. But I remember the last call we had, um, they were I think our first project was going on. Our go to was kind of not um going well because there were no enough developers that were ready to jump on what we were designing as at then. And um, but then there are other interesting things that we're working on in terms of how do we want to make it easy for developers, for designers to really contribute to open source easily because you know it's always been conversations like it's easy for developers to jump on stuff, but for designers, it's always been kind of tricky. I think one of the things that Kisley talked about was how we can make it quite easy for designers to be able to contribute. I think that's kind of what I know the conversion has been on in the designers kind of thing. But I think 
Kingsley will be the best person to give an overview about that. But other than that, that's what I'll just say that I just want to create a very easy or um very good onboarding for designers to be able to contribute to open source like developers and having platform of different projects that they can do that. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um could you talk a bit about like the work you're doing with eight knots, like how um I think are you the only designer no. in so I'm working with Lamy. Okay. Great. So Lamy is so I joined Lamy because Lamy has been the one working on Ignot. So one of the things that we are trying to do on Ignot right now is that right now, if you look at the way Ignot works, it's kind of like a two different platforms. There's the um Hogo part of it and the Ignot. I believe the Ignot part of it is where the mat where the metrics and all the documentation, yeah. everything is. Oh. SaaS SAS product. Yes, but the algo part is the user interface where you can interface and kind of get through the data. So we're trying to see if, if there's a way we can blend both experience together because when you're on Ignot, it has different sort of interface, like the experience is different, the color scheme is different, on hack on algo is different. So one of the things we were proposing them was to Kind of unify the experience, but <laughs> there was always a big pushback during calls because they were in, it's it's going to require a lot of um front end. Yeah. Yes, so they say uh, um during those calls, I think Sean was saying and and um Kali, I think she was the lead develop uh, developer on the project. She was like, yeah, it's a very good initiative, but in terms of how to actualize it, we don't have a lot of hands ready. So they just kind of suggest that, okay, let's just focus more on the little wins, maybe some little experience changes. Though already we created the designs already, we started this design of the design system, we've done that already. In fact, we started creating some of these screens, but then they felt like it's not going to be something we can actualize since we don't have hands that are ready to make these changes. So we kind of thought about maybe just focusing on little, little experience changes, like maybe um, let's look at um, Ogo, where people are interfacing more. How can we improve the experience? Maybe when viewing those, some of those metrics, those data. So that's kind of what we discussed in the last call on Ogo, but I'm not, because of the break in the break and uh, the Egos call scheme, everything kind of stopped, conversion stopped. But I think maybe next week I'll also join the call to know was the update, but that's sort of what we've been working on to unify the experience on Ogo and Ignot, and um, also to improve the experience of how people can view uh, open source metrics mm -hmm. and know what is really going on in different open source projects across the globe, because that's what essentially um, Ignot does. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Um, can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay, I, I switched my internet for one minute, so... Okay. Uh, but it's connected. Okay. So I, I think, yeah, that's, that's, um, because what you mentioned is very, is a very hard thing to do because that project or that software, they were built a long time ago. So, yeah, you find that is a very big, big project. So it's not something that few people can just do. But, um, since you guys are like just doing the just little, little efforts for now. It should be it should be good to actually document what are the things like what things are you guys focusing on now just to have some clarity into what is going on like what is this team actually doing it also help you your personally to know okay this is how I am improving this project and then this is how people can get involved. Right, because like for example, yourself and Lamy work on it, and you both just know what you're doing. Right, the whole yeah. team is not really carried along. So maybe something that could happen is during one of the meetings that you have is just showing this is what that 
you guys are working on. This is where you are at. This is what you're trying to achieve. And then also inviting them to those meetings as well. Because I think what I'm with, and this is kind of probably general to the other focus group, something that I'm seeing is that few people, and it's progress because we didn't really start off like this. Like when we started Chaos Africa um, two years back, it was like a lot of people were not joining the general calls or those other like um, metric related or those working groups. But now people are beginning to join, but we still need more people to be part of the larger community. So I think just helping this the other like team members in the design focus group understand okay what is actually going on that these are projects that you can also contribute to because you guys have successfully contributed to them and kind of know your way around it so maybe that's um, one feedback that you could give to Kinsley um to do um I think there's a lot of things there are a lot of things around design right so and um there's still more improvement I'm trying to remember, there's this um content, I think it was a redesign or a content, a design system that Kinsley was working on for Chaos Africa. I mm. can't remember. I don't know if you know. Yeah. Anything we, we, yeah, we also wanted to do that, that also, because I think that was one of the that stemmed, that was a condition that stemmed from um Ignot is that currently Chaos Africa, we, if it was possible for us to have a general, not not even for Africa self, chaos itself as a brand, you know. So if chaos could have like a like a design system that is um like is uh how let me know like a design language that applies to all the products, but then each product could have like a sub brand, so to say. But then we're looking at a design system for chaos general, not for Africa actually, for general. The same thing is going to be applied obviously for Africa. It's going to be an African branch on chaos, so it's going to have like the same brand. But then there's a concern going around that that part also, but it's still possible. It's possible now. Okay. Um. Maybe you could let's see how we can because like I think that's a when I, mean, I know when Kings explained it, it was a very good project yeah it's good but it's huge <laughs> it's yeah. a huge project yeah yeah um let's see. okay thank you for all the updates and we could also pass it along to um Kinsley the feedback that I gave yeah. um somebody said what if we turn the it not project into a time limited program um hmm, that's also a good idea I think I'm just going to put this um it could also be something we can use to revive like these different groups um let me just put this here as a suggestion great so i just um put it there as a suggestion um Okay, so um I know there have been some like research meetings um that has happened. Lami is not here, is she? Um is there anybody here from that group that wants to talk about research? Mm. Anybody? okay so we can skip that for now so i've been seeing like some meetings happening um, um can skip that for now uh technical writers how many are here um are you able to speak yeah um, i am hi everyone can you guys hear me can you guys hear me? I'm being okay. a bit under the okay. radar. Oh, sorry. Hope you get well soon. Yeah, thank you. So, for the technical writers, reviving the, uh, the focus group has been a bit of a hassle. But yeah, it has been moving pretty slow, but yeah, consistent. 
Our meetings have increased from nobody to one person to two persons, right? We usually have a weekly sync every Wednesday, 12 noon. But so far, we have been able to achieve creating a couple of issues for the badging project. Kind of, I did like a quality assurance test and also where there are various alignments and I've created issues for that. The call we had yesterday, we brought about the AFOS project because we wanted to look into it. And when we got to the website, a lot of things weren't working. So I said, in the meeting today, I'm going to bring it up as well. But I think finding out from you guys seems like it was, the project was like a pause and it's going to continue. So for other projects, we, we have a task to improve on various documentations for projects, right from contribution, contributors guide down to a couple of other stuff just to enable contributions easy and also we would, we were also we have in our tax to create wiki documents for various projects but then before we'll be able to do that tax we would need to have various information and resources for this project to be able to create this wiki document to enable contributors have like an overview of what the project is about and what's needed in base of their skill set and all of that then also i also think if there is room where we will be able to get access to information from various project leads that would enable us to move faster then then we also spoke about ways we can contribute as technical writers beyond uh beyond issues creating quality assurance and documentations we are yet to decide on those ways but we brought up about providing uh helping the educational projects where we would provide insights or deep knowledge to the various projects and i've already reached out to peculiar on that and in our next meeting we'll be collaborating with her to see if we can step in to help with these lessons or courses for them. So you said a lot of things that I'm trying to capture. <laughs> um, but that, that's really good. Like just reviving that group gives me a lot of joy. Cause like it, we've had that group since and really we've not been able to do anything. But like, like you said, people showing up for the meetings now is even a big progress and you're creating issues and you're already looking out for different ways that um you can participate um in like the different um projects that are going on both in chaos africa and even generally in chaos uh maybe one thing i'll add is um the blog is also open for for people to write um, you can like write a blog post. Anybody can write a blog post about open source, about even what is going on in Chaos Africa. I, I think this is even leading on to like your the next thing that you're taking. Um, as well. So that's also one way that you can get people to contribute as well. Um, so well done. Um, any feedback or questions for Harmony? So I would want to also put it out that I also created a document that's basically like an overview of what the focus group is about. So new contributors would not have like difficulties or frictions to be able to gain insight on what we're doing so there's like a whole bunch of documents that outline the things that we do in the technical writers group and what we're about and it also have a table that con that contains important links that you probably might need like project links and also the meeting links and stuff like that that's nice um well done so about here, I, I just keep up to our specific, um, about knowing, getting information from the team leads, 
right? Um, I think, do you know the different people that had the, the teams, the different focus groups? Do you know them? So I just have like assumptions. I think that's the right word to use. I just have action assumptions of who to meet for this and who to meet for that. Mm -hmm. I would so, say I know anything. Yeah, so for, yeah, for develop and you can also drop it in the channels as well. Or for developers, a day is there for yes. example, for for the research, you put mostly to Lamy. Um, for social media, um, Oluchi, for the disability group, it's uh, it's uh, Brian and Tori, and then community managers is uh, Mary Blessing. So, yeah, so these are the different people you'd get uh, information from, or like if you need to do anything with those teams, because I know a lot of the work for technical writing should kind of revolves around these different teams. And if you're not getting updates from them, you won't be able to, um, you know, do your work well. So you can also drop the messages on the different channels to get updates. Um. Okay. Uh, any more questions for how many? Do you want, for the issues that are uh, created with the badging project, are they, are they things that people have picked up or do you want to share it here in the chat? So the issues are literally mostly on design alignments and ways in which the badging website can be improved on. I haven't checked it for a while, so I don't know if they have been picked up. Okay, so if you can share. probably go look into it. Yeah, if you can share it in case you don't want to. In case we want to like contribute to it. Mm, okay, sounds good. Um, so the next thing is the Chaos Africa cast, I think, which are also leading. So we want to talk about that. So in the Chaos African cast, we have an ongoing program called 20 Minutes with Chaos Africa. So 20 Minutes with Chaos Africa, it's basically where we get to learn about everybody's experiences, where we just basically interview you or have a fun conversations where you tell us about the things that you have been doing your, your first time, your unique experience in open source in general as well as ways in which Chaos Africa can improve on all the things that we're doing currently in Chaos. So, so far we have gotten about, I think one episode is already live. The second episode is going to be recorded very soon. And there's no requirement to get recorded or there's no requirement to, you know, have yourself been interviewed. The only thing you just have to do is just to reach out. And it has been really going well. We have been getting feedbacks from not just the general chaos, but also from other persons knowing fully aware that it has been an amazing thing learning from fellow open source um, contributors and also drawing inspirations from the difficulties they had and also giving accolades to the people that took it upon themselves in ensuring that everybody is on board that soon. We have had the likes of Kinsley, we have had we are going to have the likes of Precious and Gloria and a couple of other persons, including Toria, right? And I think Ruth is already in our pipeline and we have a lot of amazing people too. So do well to reach out so you join our, join our amazing persons and let's hear your voice beyond just the mic. I really like, I like it because like it kind of like there are a lot of people doing work like within the community. So it's it will be good to know what they're working on, how they contribute to open source, how open source is helping them. So please, if you want to feature in our episode, um, please reach out to um Harmony, um, so you can record an episode and chat for twenty minutes. But yeah, great to work with the um the episode, and please also you could share it with. Um, social media like I just told you about the social media lead so that she can post them um on like our social media as well. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. And also, it does not have to be, you, do, you don't have to join the 20 Minutes in Africa program. If you want to discuss something entirely different, you could reach out once the idea or the initiative is approved. We'll be willing to allow you champion it if you're not that shy or have somebody assist you in championing it. Yeah, thank you for clarifying that. Sounds good. Um, great work again. Does anybody have any questions, comments for him? Okay. Nobody's this meeting has been way too quiet. I'm so excited to be here. Everybody's quiet. Why? Uh, that's my baby. Um. Okay. This. Oh, she. Okay, I am with you. Hi. It's been forever. Hey, Ruth. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, good afternoon and uh, good morning, wherever you may be. Uh, please, I just wanted to ask, I, I'm, I'm saying on the board that um, our first project has been mentioned. Well, I just want to know what, what was said about, like, um, the, I, I'm seeing on your, your screen, looking to looking at participating in the Air Force project, and also there was a line concerning the Air Force project. So I just want to know yeah. what feedback about Air Force okay. project. Thank okay, you. I think, thank you yes. for so Catherine is working on creating issues and things are starting back up. So um, for designers, we didn't really get, um, I think um, Emmanuel shared a little bit on like um, the initial, before chaos went on break, we were trying to work. Um, so I think everything, we're waiting for Catherine mostly. And then the, for the technical writers as well, they're looking to contribute on like the, yeah, let me just let Katrin speak for herself. Go ahead, Katrin. <laughs> I know, actually, it's because you mentioned a bit about design. We had a handover meeting with Kingsley um, some time back um, to just discuss how much they've done on the designs. And I'd say they're actually, I'd probably say they are 95% done um, with just a few adjustments that I'd picked up. So. I'd say, at least from my end, what I've seen is they're mostly done with the designs and they're looking good. Um, so the next phase now is the development bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, does that help, Ayamidi? Yes, it does. I, okay. I don't want to like rat myself out, but I'm actually part of the Air Force <laughs> project. So I just wanted to know if there was someone who has said something else on it don't worry don't worry design doesn't have any blame here okay um da, 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 da. what's the next one okay social media is Oluchi here or anybody that has been doing work with social media here um i don't think okay um, okay, so Oluchi had worked with some people that I don't know their names um, to design this. Um, just reviving like our, our social media, mostly we've been sharing a lot of articles um, for like sharing a lot of articles on our social media. So she had worked with a couple of other people to create like a strategy of things that we can be sharing so this is a lot of things so you can go through it um and there's also like the schedule um where we we'll post mondays we'll do like a motivation codes share resources on tuesdays um talk about share um uh, you know generated content from like chaos africa share an opportunity on thursdays open source tips i think this is this part is where um we can get people that are really that you know working on open source stuff to share tips um that we can you know put in our social media um or myths or facts things that you just learn about or even articles or resources that or opportunities that you 
just learn about. You can share them with um Poluchi. And they're like different ideas here. Like for example, for the tips, we have like different audiences in our social media. So like for contributors, if you have tips or things on how to keep people motivated, if it's a quote that you know you saw or a personal quote too, you can share all these things um with Oluchi to post them on like our channel. And if you want to also want to get involved in this, like this is a lot of content generation. So there are even like things for open source maintainers, resources. So if you have anything, you can share them with Oluchi. I think we have a social media channel, do we? Um, let me see. We don't. I think we have one. I think we used to have one. Let me check. Uh, yes, we have one. So there's the Chaos Africa slash Chaos Africa dash social. Um, you can share. Yeah, win. Okay, was that winner Aisha and Cynthia? Are they people part of the social media? Um, are they part of the social media? Okay, so if you want to contribute to that, you can join this um chaos. Gosh. If you want to like just drop things, oops, getting it wrong. If you want to drop things that could be shared based on like that content strategy, you can join the Chaos Africa channel. You know, there are a lot of people here that have tips to share. So any feedback or questions that we have for the social media thing? Okay, brightness means no. So moving on to the next thing. I saw Brian here. Brian, Brian was here. Yes, he is. Okay, so do you want to talk about what's going on with um, the... Sure. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Doing great. So we pretty much have a lot of updates on our We had a meeting on Monday and back on the deck. So Yo, what... we are... Uh, can you hear me clearly? Mm, no, I can hear you. What? Okay, so we are officially now hosting our meetings on the official Chaos Africa's Chaos Zoom and not the Google Meet like we used to do. So yeah. probably if, if you maybe joined the, the Google Meet, we have moved to the Zoom and our meetings are in the Chaos Calendar. So you'll probably see it on Monday at 8 p.m. East African time. I presume it's 6 p.m. Then we are currently uh, working on a blog post from our previous event, but that's pretty much for people who attended the disability outreach program that we hosted in Lagos, Nigeria. So probably by the next meeting, we should have the blog ready. And in the next meeting, we'll be reviewing it and getting comments from all our members. Before we submit it over to Ruth, I think it will be posted on our blog, on our blog post for chaos. Also, we are currently goal setting for quarter three, quarter four, sorry. So that's uh, November, December, and all that. So we are currently October, November, and December. So if you are, it's pretty much a new channel. So we are trying to get all your ideas. So if you have any ideas on how we can get persons with disabilities supported in, the, in what we do at Chaos Africa, so you can join us. So we will be, we are currently working on our call ideas. And then in the next meeting, we'll be sharing them and seeing what you are going to do. So we had some people share ideas like working on the onboarding process to make it more effective and efficient for persons with disabilities. And also like looking at Hacktoberfest and seeing how we can come in as uh, to make sure that in the activities we host and probably the outreaches we will do during Hacktoberfest. Now, not 
focusing on Kios Africa alone, but partnering with communities such as Oscar Fest, Oscar, Oscar chapters, and all the other communities that will be hosting Oktoberfest series. So feel free to drop in and share with us your ideas. And then uh, one other thing that we are looking at is we are looking at also starting to document what we are doing and sharing it out to other communities across Sub-Saharan Africa, trying to like more of see like, can we come up with a blog post or maybe a paper on how we are doing stuff at Cross Africa to bring people with disabilities on board. This is something that you're going to be working on probably as we close up the year, we'll be reflecting on what we've done and then trying to see how we can come up with something to just show what you're doing and the impact you can also join us on the SAM. And I think another thing is that um, we will also be sharing what we are doing. We, I personally got a chance to speak at Open Source Summit Europe. So I'll be going to share mostly about disability and also sharing what we do at Chaos Africa. So in the last meeting, I shared a document about what you want us to portray out there. So it's more of like me uh, and we are currently looking at seeing how we can also put this more out there and try to show more African communities and also showcase our work out there. So if you want to join us and come in, so feel free to come in. We have new members joining all the way from Kenya. We're Nigerians, but we have new members joining from Kenya because of my shameless plugs everywhere I go. So <laughs> you can also join us. I know it was like pretty much down low but now we are pretty much active on the official zoom so you can join us we didn't record the meeting last time because tori had issues with i think the credentials but for our next meetings they'll be recorded and you can easily catch up i feel like those are all the updates you have it's not too late to join us feel free to come and hang around with us every awesome thank you that was a lot of updates um one thing I know, just before I forget, Hamza, are you the one that asked me about disability, group in chaos? Just trying to remember. Is it Hamza that asked me about it? I don't know. Okay. Is Hamza still here? Well, Hamza is probably not here. Okay. Well, yeah, Hamza had asked me something related to that. I'll just direct him to you. But yeah, great work. Um. I, I see a lot of connections between the work you're doing with technical writers, like they can help with this as well, this blog post part, and also the documenting what the group, so you should definitely be speaking to Harmony and Harmony as well, you should, you know, definitely speak with um, Brian. This even just tells me that we probably need a meeting where all the focus group leads will come together and kind of like brainstorm and plan, because I think that um, because we have these meetings once every two weeks and then we all come together, people share feedback. I, I know that conversation probably goes on in DMs, but I think a meeting for the team focus group. So I'll try as much as I can to set that up so that we will be more in sync with each other and work with each other. Um, and great, um, good that you're speaking at uh, Open Source Summit Europe as well. Is, that, is it in person or? Um, virtually. Okay, so we are currently looking. Uh, I'm, I'm yet to go for my visa appointment, but I hope it should be physically. But if my visa appointment, I've already emailed the organ. The first, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, going in person this time. Um, say, so can we do a podcast with people? Yes, we can, and we should. So, um, Ellen, do um, how many? Probably take note of that. You could reach out to Brian as well. Um, we we had like in our episode uh, the events we had. We had a lot of people. I think Stephanie would be great, and she's I think she's part of Chaos as well. So, yep. Um, how many can take note of catching up, uh, connecting with Stephanie. Um, we don't have a lot of time, and there are still some things that I really wanted us to discuss. Let's move faster. Um, Mary Blessing, do you have uh, updates for community managers? Oh, um, hi everyone. Ah, there's no much updates. Um, but yeah, if folks like to join the focus group, it would be really nice to 
have more people join us and um yeah because i think you mentioned something which is also something i have been trying to reach out to some leads on that's um, encouraging more people to um to contribute right and reach out to people that have been inactive for a while so i, I think there's something the community managers in the community can help with um while the leads focus on you know um doing other stuff that they need to do um to get the working group um, going so so yeah we need more hands um at the moment there's not a lot of um um how do i put it like um activity going on right um but the general committee is looking to launch the ambassador program which is something i've mentioned before on this call but um i, I think um the community needs to like give share their thoughts on something before it launches um finally so yeah that, that's basically it yeah okay. please reach out if you want to join yeah yeah, um, uh, I think I really want to rush, um, but there's something I wanted to push to the community managers, like facilitating these meetings, um, coming up with maybe a schedule, if we could do that, that could be an activity to get people to contribute, um, because like that's something that I struggle with, um, facilitators for this meeting, so maybe we could start with that. Um, mm. okay, yeah, so for conferences coming up i just wanted to highlight this um like she could africa summit we um sponsored some diversity tickets we um able to sponsor 20 diversity tickets so that's something um we are getting engaged with um then for PyCon uganda we're also participating we sponsored the community as well um on the conference with five hundred dollars, same as PyCon Zimbabwe, um, and Angola Open Source Festival, um, the dates I will add the dates shortly. But this is happening in October 9th, and this is happening in thirtieth of October, and Angola Open Source Festival is happening on the thirtieth of November. So, yep, those are the conferences coming up. I'm going to push this conversation to next meeting because it's a very big one and Catherine this is the conversation that I was saying connects with AFOS but I wanted us to talk about chaos con Africa um in the next five minutes so we're supposed to host chaos con this year um it not happened in June because uh Oscar fest was cancelled so it kind of like disrupted our own plans um now there were some plans to have still have it this year towards like q4 but now the conversation i'm bringing up is that um one is chaos cons are usually collocated and not like we cannot do something different but collocation with other bigger events kind of helps it um helps bring more visibility to the events right and also getting more people reduce cost for us um, Oscar Fest will happen next year. So um, the question and the discussion is, should is it safe to say we can skip Chaos Con for this year and do it next year? To so take feedback from people or observations or ideas. Katrin, yes, go ahead. Uh, I think uh, I think what we can where, where we can start with is um is is knowing the objectives of this year's Kioscon and the objectives of Oscar next year, so that we see whether there are any clashing themes on both of them, because. If we, if let's say ChaosCon might cover the same themes this year as, um, as as next year, then either we can find new themes to cover so that we 
have so that we have chaos con so that we can have chaos con next year or if we are going to cover this almost the same themes as oscar next year then maybe we can start with chaos con this year i don't know if that makes sense mm. yeah it's it's kind of, yeah it, i understand where you're where you're going to um with covering like I I understand that we haven't actually thought about the objectives because we have not yeah. yet the planning. So that's also something that is not yet known to us right now. Um okay. Um yeah, but I've actually just thought that given what um what had been done last last year, I like the idea of co-hosting them at the same time because um you get a bigger reach so most people a lot of a lot of people get to know about chaos con um and then um and then you actually get to cover you get to cover a wide range of topics in the um, in the conference because you know you have a bigger reach so it means you need to be able to cater to more people who will be attending the conference so mm -hmm. I yeah. personally, I think I like the idea of co-hosting them at the same time because of the numbers and also because the kind of content that we can create for ChaosCon, um, it allows us to have more diverse speakers, uh, more diverse listeners and, and, um, and also, and, and I think also the kind of, um, yeah, I think that that is covered within the workshops. But yeah, I think in terms of content and reach, um, co-hosting with Oscar works really well. I think it worked really well last year. Yeah, it did. It really did. Because like it, it fostered like new connections. We got in more people that would like also like not would have been able to attend um, because of like traveling yeah. and everything. So so I and I see some comments on the charts with moving voting for moving it next year. So I think we already we already have a community decision. Um so we can kind of like plan towards next year and we can all always make it like really different from Oscar, not really so different, but like not covering the same thing that Oscar first covers, like we can make it more um more unique to chaos so that's something we can plan towards okay great so we have a seems we have like a good community agreement so um we will you know put our efforts towards doing an end of year hangout and maybe this time we'll do one in kenya and one in lagos we have kenyan contributors now so so yeah so i think um that's all our agenda there are also some reminders here um so if you want to nominate someone for chaos chaotic of the week you know sending ideas events that are coming up and also looking at the code of conduct procedures for reporting and responding so thank you my blessing for adding it and next meeting we'll discuss this project idea it's really interesting something that i have been thinking about so we can discuss it next time um because we are at the top of the hour and another meeting happens by this time. So is there any more last thoughts? Okay, Amza said East Africa and Rada. If people want to travel, you will be in Kenya though, but if we want to travel to Kenya for it, fine. Okay. Um, any more last thoughts, feedback? Nope. Any going? All right. So thank you everybody for joining. It was lovely to not see your faces and hear your voices. But thank you and take good care. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Bye guys.